Hi everyone, welcome to FinTech Academy. This is Hirsch. Today I will show you how to create sub accounts in QuickBooks Online. All right, let's have a look at that. All right, creating sub accounts. What are sub accounts? Say your auto expenses are high and you want to start tracking what you spend on different types of auto expenses, such as gas, repairs, and parking. Sub accounts make it easy to track details like these. Sub accounts are nothing more than partitions within higher level accounts. When you post transactions to sub accounts only, not their parent account, your reports shows the subtotals for the sub accounts and a grand total for the parent account. So basically sub accounts is a part of chart of accounts, of course. And you know, within the chart of accounts, you can create account and sub accounts. A very important concept if you want to organize your, um, let's say your profit and loss, i.e. your income statement or balance sheet, wherein you can have the best of the outputs when you're looking at that report. So let's have a look at live in action in QuickBooks Online that how do we create a sub account? I'll show you that. And thereafter, we will enter a few transactions and we will see the output in the reports. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, so I'm right over here in QuickBooks Online and uh, to go to the chart of accounts, there is more than one way to do that. Either you click on the gear icon on the top right over here and you click on the chart of accounts over here or on the left, there is accounting and you click on chart of accounts. Whichever way it works for you, you can do that. I'm just gonna click on the left over here, go to chart of accounts, okay? So we are over here in the chart of accounts. Now I have a separate video tutorial of the chart of accounts where it will explain what is type and detail type and all these different um, uh, columns which we have listed over there. But for this video tutorial, we'll be focusing on creating the sub accounts, recording the transactions and having a view of that in the output as a report. So let's start with the first one. Let's say I'm gonna click on the new. I wanna create a new chart of account, okay? Uh, account type, very important. We must get it correct. So I'm gonna select expenses over here because I want to put it under the account type as expenses and in detail type, which I'm gonna select auto. Let's say I want to create auto expenses as we saw in the slide over there. So I put auto now, uh, the, the whatever you put in the detail type will automatically be the name over here unless you want to change it yes you certainly can let's say if I say I want to make it auto expenses like this then you can do that all right so thereafter uh, for now I mean um, if you want to put in the description that's completely optional but I'll define a sales tax code let's say it's going to be HST because I'm in the province of Ontario whichever tax code you want to define the benefit is that when you put it over here when you are recording the transaction by default this will be taken unless you want to change it you certainly can change it if you don't assign over here then quickbooks will definitely ask for the sales tax code which you will have to uh, enter manually each time all right so personal choice i'm going to click save and close over here as soon as i do that my auto expenses account is saved and if i want to see that i can type in over here in the search or i can scroll down looking at this a particular type column slowly so it, this is income see that that's a cogs which is cost of goods sold and there you go my expenses started we have our auto expenses over here which is in the type expenses the detail type is auto and the tax rate is hst ontario right over here all right let's say that i want to create three sub accounts of this auto because you know i saw that last year i had uh, as an example i had ten thousand dollars of auto expenses and uh, we like to find out that why such a big amount all right so the three primary expenses that we have in our company is gasoline um, that's a repairs and parking so what i'm going to do is uh, i'll go on the top again click on the new on the top right hand corner over here okay select the account type again i'm going to select expenses over here like this uh, detail type i'll still stick to auto over here and let's say i'm going to type over here instead of auto i'm going to say uh, gas expenses or fuel expenses well whatever term that you want to use you can put that over here okay like this description is again optional but i'm going to put a check mark on this which is ease sub account thereafter i'm going to give a sub account because 
I put a check mark, so now it's a mandatory field. I'm going to say that this is a sub account of auto expenses. So right over here, I have defined that, hey, this gas expense is going to be a child of this parent, which is auto expenses. Automatically, the tax code is assigned over here, and I'm going to do save and close. All right, let's have a look what has happened in our chart of accounts. See if I scroll down over here again, I will be able to see, there you go, the tree structure is from, we have auto expenses and underneath that we have the gas expenses. Let's create a few more uh, as we want to track for expenses for let's say repairs. So I'm going to do again that, click on the account type over here, expenses. Uh, in the detail type I'll select auto and type in over here, let's say you can put in auto repairs or just put in repairs whichever way it works like this. And uh, again is sub account uh, which I should be putting a check mark and I'll put that under auto. I can already see over here there is gas expenses underneath that but I will not select gas expense I'll select auto expenses again the tax code is already defined because the primary or the parent has it so it's going to come in automatically I can also do save and new if I don't want to come out of the screen again everything is the same again it is an expense it is under the auto detail type but this time I'm going to say okay well we, we would like to find out the parking expenses I'm going to select the sub account over here again as auto. So we have two uh, members already in that family. This is the third one that's going to join over there. HST Ontario do save and close like this. So now if I scroll down and look at the expenses tree structure that we have, we can see our expenses right over here. And these three are the members of that auto expenses. Right guys, so I'm right over here in the QuickBooks online and let's go ahead and record some transactions to understand the portion of the sub accounts. So in the suppliers, we'll click on expenses. The first template that we have over here um, we will start with the pay, which is not a mandatory field. But again, uh, if you do want to mention, you certainly can. QuickBooks doesn't need that, so I'm not going to touch that. Payment account is how your uh, money is going out. Now you can see over here that we don't have a bank or account or any of those accounts created uh, or credit card even. Let's say I want to create a business credit card over here. So I can just uh, start typing over here like this. And uh, QuickBooks is asking, hey, did you want to add this? I'm going to say click add. And because it's a credit card, I'm going to select the type as a credit card. Detail type is only one, so I don't have to worry. Uh, I will allocate the default tax code, which is generally not there at all, right? Because it's a credit card. It's the expense where we put that. And if there was any beginning balance, I would have put that over here. Save and close. So I have that, hey, you know what? I spent the money using my business credit card. Thereafter, the date, let's say, I did this expense on August 10th over here. Um, if there is a payment method, which is again not a mandatory field, but if you do want to provide, you can select over here credit card. The reference number could be a receipt number or the bill number of the um, vendor or the supplier, whatever it is that they are giving out. Okay. Next important is going to be uh, amounts are whether inclusive of tax, exclusive of tax, or out of scope. Depending on the uh, uh, receipt that you have. Uh, Let's say if your receipt says exclusive of tax and then the tax on top of that, you can let it be exclusive. But if you think that it will be easier inclusive, you can switch it over here. Default is exclusive. I'll let it be over there. Let's say I select that. Yes, I had the expense, uh, gas expense like this over here. And I'm going to put an amount of, let's say the gas expenses was $90. And I'm going to say there is a HST component on top of that. Okay. Uh, again, HST is completely what you need to make sure you validate that on your receipt all the numbers should be matching right on the top and I'm gonna say save and new over here okay perfect so the transaction is recorded right let's record another transaction over here so once again I'm gonna click on plus and I'm gonna to go to expense over here and I will have the business credit card selected uh, the date we'll put in, let's say, on August 12th, we're okay with that. Uh, payment method is credit card. And let's say I want to mention over here that this time the expense is for auto repairs. Now, um, there, there could be a vendor which or a supplier who has done the job, and you can certainly mention it over here on the top. Or if you want, you can also put in the description, depending how frequent or how often you do 
business with that particular supplier vendor. Someone says if it's a one-off and I don't want to create them over here um, because once you put it over here, it's going to go and sit in your supplier category, right? Then you can also mention in the description or you can also mention over here in the memo section. Let's say I'm going to put it over here and mention this as auto world and the amount was $150 like this. The HST on top of that. So that's going to show me that, hey, you know what? After the HST, my amount is 175.15. Sorry, it is 155 plus HST, just as an example, right? So I'm okay with this transaction, let's say, and I do save and new over here, okay? So that's the second one that we enter. Let's enter one more transaction, and that is about, um, you know, we got a parking ticket, put it that way. And uh, I'll go over here and select in the category of expense parking. Um, I'm gonna, of course, wherever you got it, you can mention that, or if you want to, if you think you might get it frequently, then you know you can create them as a payee, right? Depending on your account, and let's say it's for thirty dollars, right? Um, there is an HST, yes, no. Just make sure uh, if there is one, then you want to also confirm that is it inclusive or exclusive. Because if I do like this, right, then uh, and if I said thirty dollars, it's inclusive. So QuickBooks is going to do the math for me that this is your amount of expense right over here. The uh, tax is included in that thirty dollars. So depending whatever it is, just select that, and I'm going to do save and close over here so I recorded uh, transactions one two and three uh, let's have a look at the output in the reports that what does it show in our profit and loss right guys so let's have a look at the reports what we have created from the sub accounts that we entered the transactions so I'm gonna click on the reports over here and in that I'm gonna to go to the profit and loss it's already in the favorites category so I'm just gonna click on that and as soon as I click on the profit and loss the report is going to be shown from the January 1st till today's date okay so I'm going to go a little bit down over here and we can see over here that QuickBooks has given us that auto expenses which is the uh, parent in the situation then I have each of them separated so I know how much is my repairs I know how much is my gas expense and I know how much is my parking expense and I also have the total auto expenses over here so for example this amount is 270 155 which is a total auto expenses about 155 for the repairs about 90 bucks for the gas and uh, parking is 26.55 and change that we see so basically what uh, sub accounts can be helpful that you can find out more details about your expenses the amounts the breakup on that now many times when i do consulting i've seen that you know uh, an owner might think a business owner might think that okay i have a such kind of expense of let's say ten thousand dollars and they would be thinking that hey you know what uh, i would like to find out the details on that because that seems to be a little bit higher side then probably uh, what they might do is that they would take that information to a spreadsheet put it over there uh, put in some major transactions and do some analysis over there well you know what you don't need to do that if you design your chart of accounts and sub accounts in such a format right wherever you need it this is just one example which I which I've given for our expenses um, companies do that in much detail once you know they understand that what is the importance of our expenses uh, sorry of the sub accounts and especially something that they would like to have a look because this is like a one-time setup that you're Doing. thereafter you just have to record the transactions and your output will always be with all these analysis all right guys so hopefully you know uh, you found this video helpful with uh, the sub account creation remember it is within chart of accounts and that's where you create that all right guys so if you found this video helpful please like our video and subscribe to our channel for more videos also let me know in comments what would you like to see in future videos i.e hirsch i want to see this video or hirsch can you make a video on this topic for accounting bookkeeping quickbooks desktop quickbooks online microsoft excel canadian income tax t1 canadian income tax t2 and canadian payroll alternatively you can also visit us at fintechsolutions.ca for our courses thanks for watching